He's the angry video game nerd. I've been called upon to take care of business once again. So apparently there is an unreleased sort of rare, uh, you know, PlayStation 1 game that involved, you know, Capcom and Sega and I believe Sonic Team. Um, um, now, this is a very obscure game that they, that they made and it was released for the PlayStation. Now, you can't get a physical copy of this game uh, and there is no images supporting that there is a physical copy of this game. So the only way I can experience this game is the same way as the rest of the internet, emulation. I tend to avoid these, but for the, for this case, I'll make an exception. And uh, I was able to hook up this wireless PlayStation 1 controller, so uh, I'll easily know what the controls are instead of the keyboard. So you know what? Let's get into it. And uh, if I rage quit, I need a rolling rock, because it's going to be a long... It's going to be a long ride. Also, the piece of crap game that we're playing today is a video game called Junior's Jungle the Video Game. This is the unreleased game for the PlayStation made by not only Capcom, but surprisingly Sega and Sonic Team themselves. So you know what? Let's dive right into this piece of crap and let's get this show on the road. So once you boot up the game, you know, you get the Capcom introduction and then followed up by the Sega and Sonic Team logo introduction, but that only tricks you into thinking that this is going to be a fun time, when in reality, it's not. So, yeah, we're about to dive in a pile of horse manure. By the way, I think this is the stupidest title screen I've ever seen. God, and the menu sucks too. It also proves that there's barely any content in this game. Oh, and you gotta love this. This looks exactly like the loading screen in Sonic of 6. What? What am I even watching right now? I literally just started the game, and I see this weirdo waking up from bed, getting up, and and he's just about to start his day. I, like, what is this? Like, like, what kind of game is this? That's a very weird sound to make while stretching. Uh, I'm gonna go get ready. All right, I just got ready for the day. Now let's start the game. Okay, thank God the game actually starts. And so far, this looks very bad. I can't even hop in the shower. Why can't I hop in the shower? I just wanna clean myself for the day. And one thing I need to point out is why is the camera angles uh like resident evil like come on that's just no that's not fun at all why can't the camera follow me everywhere why why does it have to be like the resident evil camera and and what's with these these weird runs like this is a very weird run cycle too and like this game barely lets me do anything at all like it's it's not fair whatsoever of course i could pick up a knife but i can't use it what's the point all right you know what i had enough with the inside let's hop outside oh god another pointless and dreadful loading screen followed up by a right. crappy cutscene Man, these cutscenes are very weird. Wait a sec. Why can't I see the ground? Where's the ground? What am I standing on? Grass? A concrete? I really need to know. Well, at least we're outside, but what can you do outside? I can barely see too, since I can't see what I'm walking on. And plus, I'm very limited to the space. You know what? Let's head to the garage. Let's see what it has to offer. And also limited space. How nice. With barely anything inside. Oh, you can pick up a, a little uh, 
weed cutter. But once again, what's the point of using it if you can't hit enemies in this game? It's cool that the game lets you walk around with these cool weapons. Well, I shouldn't necessarily call them weapons, maybe tools, but there's no point because there's no enemies in the game. I'm putting this back. There's no point. Uh, uh, there's barely anything inside. I'd say let's just head out of here. There's, there's barely anything. What? Is there anything back here? Nope. Never. Because this game has nothing in this game. Stupid. And... Another loading screen. How, how amazing. And let me guess, a cutscene? Wow. Shocking. I will say, for these cutscenes, uh, they're pretty nice looking for PlayStation 1. And I must say, the graphics for this game are actually pretty crazy. Wait a second, is the camera actually following us this time? Wait, I can actually turn the camera angle. This is more of what I want in this game. Not the Resident Evil camera angles or anything. This is awesome. This is amazing. Why why couldn't Capcom and Sega stick with this? I would love this. Same with other people who play this game. Why? Why couldn't they have that? You know what? I think it's too hot out here. And I was going to go for a nice walk. But you know what? It's too hot out here. Not happening. Are you kidding me? We're going back inside? No, I was promised a walk, or at least a journey. Not to go back inside. But hey, at least I can jump. That's cool, I guess. But what's the point? There's literally nothing in- Oh, I can kill myself by hitting the fridge? Are you kidding me? Oh, this- This is stupid. You know what? Screw this game. I'm ending things here. Yeah, take that. And we're giving a crappy game over screen. How cryptic. What? You go all the way back to the video game logo introductions? Are you kidding me? That's how far back you go? I don't think I saved my progress. Not that it matters, but if anyone had this game, shouldn't they be able to save their progress? This was a really crappy game. What the hell were they thinking? You wanna know what I just found out about this game? Uh, you can barely do much in the game. Uh, like, you just do whatever you want. But the game limits you from doing any of that. Why? Like, that's stupid of them. Like, why? Why? Like, that's like if I'm playing... Let's say, grant that auto. I'm limited to a certain neighborhood or area of the city that I can go to. That is some bull crap. Uh, and in this game, it does exactly that. I can't go anywhere wherever I want. That's not fair. So, technically, I'm limited to what I can go to. And not even missions are in it too. Or at least I haven't found any missions. And... The controls are just so awkward, like, like, it's just awkward, it's a piece of crap game, like, like, I'm glad Sega and Capcom didn't release this, because if they did, you know, man, man, it, it would not be good, it would not be good, so you know what, screw that game, screw it to hell, just all of that, if you want to play a good PlayStation 1 game, Go play Crash Bandicoot. Go play Metal Gear Solid. Go play Final Fantasy 7. Go play one of the Resident Evil games on there. Go play Spyro. Go play, like, you know, any other Capcom game on there. And if you want to play Sega, like Sega Dreamcast, you know, go play Sega Dreamcast if you own one. Like, it's better than playing this crap. I need a rolling rock. I'm done.